OBJ squaring up after the game. Tyus Bowser addressing John Harbaugh's comments. Ravens fans, we got a lot to talk about in this video. And let's just get straight into it. First, with Odell Beckham Jr., we know that during the game, him and Jeffrey Simmons sort of had a little moment where they got into it. Because what a lot of people saw initially was this. And people are wondering, like, man, why is OBJ kneeing Jeffrey Simmons from behind? That's kind of a dirty move. And then he sort of overreacted to Jeffrey Simmons pushing him and did draw the flag. And that got a lot of Titans fans upset. But here's the reason why he did what he did that a lot of people didn't see. So yeah, every action has a reaction. So while Zay Flowers was being held up, the players pretty much stopped. Jeffrey Simmons, in a very dirty move, he dove at Zay Flowers' legs, and that could have resulted in something a lot worse than what happened. Thank goodness it didn't, but that was a dirty play. That was, that was a dirty play. Like, you see he's being held up. He ain't going nowhere, and you dive at his legs. That's some real grimy stuff right there. So that's why Odell Beckham Jr. went at Jeffrey Simmons the way that he did. But apparently, it didn't stop there. Because after the game, according to Marlon Humphrey, you know what? Let's just listen to it. Bro, did you see the post game? Was that did that get? I don't think that got got out. I don't think what why what happened, dude? I'm sitting there after the game. A jersey swapped with a dude, so like it took me a while. So I'm like taking my jersey off, and like I saw Jeffrey Simmons, mm -hmm. and he's just he's looking like this, helmet on. Helmet on. Helmet on. I'm like, oh, he must got like family on the, on the, on our team or something. <laughs> He's still just looking. So like, I'm over here trying to take the jersey on my path. He just, and then I walk up to him. Like, I'm thinking like, oh, he, oh, he wants to show me love. Like, he, he respects my game. So yeah, bro. And like, he, he wasn't like, it, I really just went up to him. He wasn't waiting on me either. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, go holler at somebody. And then as I'm, my back's turned to him, our guy goes, Rodney, Rodney. <laughs> Starts yelling, Rodney's our security's name. And I'm like, anytime you start yelling security, like, Rod, Rodney, like, fr freaking out. I turn around, Odell and Jeffrey are like fighting. No way. Bro, I'm pretty sure Odell's grabbing his face mask, like, like they had to get separated and everything. I don't know how this has not hit, like, <laughs> the media. That's crazy. Dude, he wanted the fade from getting that PI, that Odell. <laughs> he wanted the fade from that. See, and you know what? He, he, regardless if Odell Beckham Jr. is a Raven or not, I think this is kind of weird from Jeffrey Simmons' part because how can you... He was apparently ready to fight Odell Beckham Jr. after the game, but how can you be mad at somebody, be waiting for somebody outside the locker room if you were the one who was initially in the wrong in the first place? The reason why he needs you from behind was because you went at his teammate. You went at, you went at his teammate's legs, and that, like I said, it could have been way worse. Thank goodness it wasn't. But how can you be mad at somebody when you the one that made a dirty move? So I, I just don't get that, but apparently this, this is something that, you know, Ravens, like, they, they were like, no, we don't want it to get out. We already lost Odell Beckham Jr. for a couple of games with injury. We ain't trying to lose him to suspension because with him and Jeffrey Simmons getting into it after the game, we ain't hear nothing about it. And with Marlon Humphrey telling everything, um, Ravens security obviously knew about it, but they had not put anything out there. Nobody had put anything out there. So they did a really good job of keeping this thing under wraps. Which the Baltimore Ravens, they know how to do with a lot of different stuff. Uh, but Marlon Humphrey on the po podcast with Jack Settleman, the Punchline podcast, he let it be known like, oh, yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. and Jeffrey Simmons, they were going at it. Now, uh, somebody else who, not really going at it, but it's just a tiny bit of back and forth, Tyus Bowser and John Harbaugh. John Harbaugh's comments. Uh, the other day, I know for me, they didn't sound good. They made it sound like Tyus Bowser was probably going to be done for the season or he was going to be out for an extended period of time and was not close to returning. Um, and it had a lot of people wondering, like, man, what's going on with Tyus Bowser, especially when John Harbaugh does the famous, oh, I I'll let him tell you. I'll let him speak on that. Uh, but it had a lot of us thinking in a negative way, what could be the case with Tyus Bowser? But 
It's always best when you hear directly from the source. And shout out to Glenn Clark. Shout out to Rita, the NFL chick. Uh, and shout out to Tyus Bowser because on the Tyus Bowser show that they do weekly, and they had special guest Jadavian Clowney on there, but we'll, we'll talk about him later. But on the Tyus Bowser show, uh, he addressed John Harbaugh's comments. He addressed his status. He addressed everything. Let's have a listen. <laughs> um, Tyus, we're going to handle this however we can handle it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think everybody knows what's going on. I think everybody heard the same thing. Yeah. You, uh, John Harbaugh said, you guys got to talk to Tyus. Yeah. And so I don't, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know the story. Yeah. We've talked about this a million times. This yeah. isn't the world, but this is the Tyus Bowser show. It is. It we is are Tyus talking Bowser to Tyus. Yeah. So is there anything that you can tell us? I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm on the field. I'm moving around very well. I'm just gaining more and more confidence each and every day. Uh, not only on the field, but, you know, in the training room, I have great people around me, uh, great support staff. And I feel like myself is, you know, getting to that point. And, you know, I'm just going to continue to work hard. And when that time comes, it comes. Okay. Okay. I like that. That sounds pretty good to me, yeah. right? It sounds like the people that were being super dramatic. Yeah, it was, it was a lot going on, but, you know, it's, it's not – it's no better way of, you know, asking a guy himself, you know. I, that's the only thing I can and do, just right? just leave it at that. So that's, that's you say with your piece, and we're good, man. Yeah. That's the way that it goes. Yeah. It sounds like we're not announcing a retirement or oh, something. No, 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 like, or no, or yeah. he won't be here yeah. for the rest of the season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's all we want to hear. Yeah. Give us I some hope. Give us I a little mean, bit of hope. That's all we can ask for, right? That's what we wanted here tonight. Yeah, we absolutely. Want, Trust it looked me, like, if, you know, if you, I can play, I'll definitely play. We know that's that. That's the goal. That's we the know mindset. That. So. All right. Y'all make some noise one more time for Tyus Bowser, Jadavion Cloudy. So like Rita said, hey, we got some hope. And, and, and it's nice that we do have some hope when it comes to Tyus Bowser returning. Now, he did not say anything definitive or concrete that, hey, I will for sure be back. Because he did say towards the end, I don't know if you caught it. He said, if I can play... I'll play so that kind of still put things up in the air and but he did say that he's feeling great he said he's feeling good he said he's getting better and better every week as time goes along so he's trying he, he's trying to get back and he did x out anybody who said oh is Tyus Bowser retiring he, he went ahead and, and did it that right away um, but he did also say like no it wasn't an announcement for him being out for the season either so he is trying to come back which is a beautiful thing because Having Tyus Bowser back, that would just bring that much more versatility uh, to the Baltimore Ravens and to a defense that has just been, in my opinion, overachieving. Uh, because remember, uh, for those first four weeks, they ain't have Marlon Humphrey and they were doing a phenomenal job. Uh, they haven't had a four-man pass rush and they have been doing a phenomenal job. How, how is this defense like tied for league lead in sacks? And they got to send, they got to blitz to get pressure on a quarterback. I mean, besides Jadavian Clowney, I mean, he's been doing this thing. And Kyle Vannoy, hey, he's been a nice, pleasant surprise too. But this Baltimore Ravens defense has been overachievers. They have been amazing. They have just been holding it down. And they're going to continue to face tougher tasks as the season goes along. But so far, so great. And having Tyus Bowser added into the mix. Now, I think it may be a little rough for Mike McDonald to find a role for Tyus Bowser. Because, again, everything is clicking right now. And you don't want to just throw somebody back in the mix and mess up the vibe. But not that Ty Tyus Bowser would mess up the vibe. But it's, it's going to be a little tough to find him a role. And I think that it is possible with how Jadavian Clowney has been playing, uh, with how Kyle Vinoy has been playing, with how Malik Harrison has been playing, and obviously Roquan Smith and, and Patrick Queen. Like, where do you fit Tyus Bowles? I guess you could give some people a rest from time to time and whatnot. They, they, they'll figure it out. That's why he's a defensive coordinator. And I'm not. But along with Tyus Bowser, again, who could still possibly come back? Because, again, he did give us some hope. Uh, but we still got guys like, I can't let, I can't let y'all forget. I know y'all tired of hearing me say it. But Adafi away. Maybe today's the day where he returns to practice. We'll see very, very, very soon. And David Ajabo, he ain't going to return to practice today, but maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a little further down the line, maybe he could be back as well. It's so many things to be determined in the Ravens, despite so many people being out. Again, at a different point in times of this season, they've had different guys out. Marlon Humphrey, Adafi Owe, uh, David Ajabo. 
Matthias Bowser, Marcus Williams. They lost Kyle Hamilton for some of the game last time, not due to injury, but due to him getting ejected. But they've been missing people on their defense at different points of this season, but they still continue to be a great defense. So shout out to them. But with Baltimore Ravens, woo, this was a lot. With Odell Beckham Jr., with Tyus Bowser, and I'm sure there will be more. So I will see you all later on. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss not one single thing. And on that note, we out.